All right, guys, so this is basically how the calculator works. A customer lands on the page, they select the services that they want. In this case, I'll just say house washing, gutter cleaning, and deck cleaning. They go through, they select whatever uh, questions you ask or input right here. So we'll say primary material, we'll say vinyl. How many sides? We'll go four sides. How, you know, house height, we'll say two story. And then for the area, we'll say 1,000 to 2,000 square feet. And then for the gutter cleaning, uh, how many sides have gutters? That's how I do it. We'll just say two. And then because we already answered the two-story in the house area, uh, those are already pre-filled. For deck cleaning, um, I just have it real simple. Material, um, does it, what, you know, what type of railing does it have? Vinyl, wood, metal, or none. Um, and then the size, we'll just say around 200 square feet. Um, and then the customer gets to the lead collector area where, you know, they can put in notes right here. I'm just going to fill in some random stuff. Say Nevin, put my name in here, Shields, at 717powerwash.com. one put in the address right here i'm just putting a random one uh you do have a there is a filter on where um i don't have it turned on for this one but you can filter out locations so if they're outside of a range um it doesn't show but here we got you know deck cleaning 176 gutter cleaning 237 and then house washing 435 and then if a customer wants to bundle them all they get 20 percent discount uh, which really that should be 10 percent but that's how that would work. Um, if, if you do have booking turned on, you'll see the, the buttons to book. Um, let's say they just want the house washing. Um, well, one other thing, they can add images right here, uh, which, you know what, I'll, I'll do it just so I can show you what it looks like on the dashboard. I'll just pick a random one right here. All right. So we're going to add that in there. And then um, let's say we do want house washing. All right. They can go and book and then just, well, I'll pick a random date so you can see what it looks like. So you see 11 a.m. is blocked because we already have something in that date on the 15th at 11. So let's just say 1 p.m. and then book it. All right. Cool. And then they get to the uh, option here where it says what next. And this is just how I have it set up. You don't have to set it up this way where it says here's what to expect next. And it's just, you know, make sure outdoor water spigots turned on. Uh, make sure the windows are closed, stuff like that. If you're doing like painting or something, you might have a different customer checklist, right? Um, but now let's head over to AutoBidder and just show you how it looks in the dashboard. Uh, so that customer that I just did, you'll see the services that I requested, deck cleaning, gutter cleaning, house washing. The, the house washing was accepted, so that's why it says accepted by customer. And then it has the information that they added right there. Um, and then this is just a random address that I put in, but realistically, this should be the customer's address, whatever their address is. Um, it would have their house pulled up. So you could, the, the nice thing about it is you can quickly and easily see it. So you, you don't have to switch tabs, right? You don't have to have, you know, because I know how it is having, like you have so many different tabs open when you're doing estimates and stuff like that and, you know, interacting with customers. Um, but that's pretty much how it works. And you can see their lead information right here. And then the photo that I added um, is right there. So if a customer does add photos, the idea there is like, if you are doing an in-person bid, um, you can use AutoBidder to do the bid and, you know, show the customer, like, you know, if they ask for this, this and that, whatever, you just put it in and it presents the customer with the price right there. It also emails them. Um, it will, if you turn that on, um, it'll email that bid to them so that way they have it. Um, but then you could show them, you could take photos while you're at the customer's property, upload them there, and then boom, you have it, um, you know, saved into your system right there, basically. Uh, there's a lot we plan on doing with the photos. Right now it's pretty basic, um, but there's a lot of cool things that we can and intend to do with that. Um, one quick thing, I don't want to make this about this. If you wanted to, though, you could set max distance. So my service area is, say, like whatever my little town is, and I, I don't want to go any further than 40 miles. Um, then you just set that right here. Um, I just have it turned off for the demo purposes, but realistically, I'll probably turn it back on. That's nice for filtering people out that might be out of your range um, or, you know, somebody who's like just filling in random information. You don't want them to see your pricing. Uh, you could do that as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's just a kind of a brief, brief overview. And then on the calendar page, whatever date they book, you see here it's scheduled in at 1 p.m. There's a lot we're doing with the calendar, so I don't want to talk too much about the calendar, but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully this video helps, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.